Hey guys, Silence Hill here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. Hopefully, you've been doing this regularly. Uh, let's tap into it and see whether I've done it. So, sadly to say, I've not done it for today. <laughs> but don't worry, I have not missed a single day. So, if you guys still don't know what this is about, I'll leave a link in the description down below talking about how you can take part in this Macross Crossover Live 2019 ticketing campaign so yes you can actually try and get yourself a ticket to macross crossover live do take note the ticket is for sunday which is the 2nd of june and yeah you'll be missing out on saturdays but of course there is always a chance for you to watch saturday's performance as well because there is a general general balloting of the tickets once again so all the information will be in that video link is in the description down below so anyway guys let's get out of here because the main thing for today is actually makina's brand new gacha for the current brand new event so let's take a look at the banners if you guys don't know every time there is a brand new event there is of course banners for it so of course there is the ones for the regular stuff that we've seen already sadly to say the new banner for freya's gacha is not out yet so we just have to wait and see probably it might come out tomorrow but we already know that freya is going to be the second diva involved with this current um, event all right so at the same time the debut gacha has resurfaced or rather renewed if you have not purchased the one before sadly to say you have lost your chance to do so so um yeah we're gonna do both the debut gacha and of course makina's brand new gacha sadly to say i've already done my free daily gacha for 10 episode plates so that do look forward to it i will have a compilation video of all my nine days of pulling the 10 plate free gachas together if you missed out on day one well it was in the last gacha video you can go back and watch that one i will not leave the link in the description down below <laughs> you can just check on my channel all right so let's take a look at makina's brand new episode plate we will take a look and see whether it is actually worth your singing stones from the look of the first page that they show us it is 3545 amazingly enough this is the first ever episode plate that is from a paid gacha i repeat from a paid gacha that has finally beaten the most powerful macross 7 episode plate so if you don't know what plate i'm talking about i do have it searched up already so let's take a look at macross 7's previously most powerful episode plate there's this one all right so if you take a look at the stats 3522 was the previously highest total amount score uh you could get from an episode plate now makina with her brand new episode plate beating this total score you definitely can tell straight away off the bat that plate is a must get so let's compare the skills is actually makina's plate better than this one well with a sensor skill of b and soul up so as you can tell when i say soul up it means soul is increased by 40 percent up all right center skill it is not a high score boosting episode plate so you know for sure that this episode plate is a live skill support that's why it has an s but it is not a high score episode plate or rather it is a combo breaking preventer so hmm let's take a look at makina's plate to see whether it is off the bat way better than this episode plate um, we know that the stats are definitely way better already but let's compare the skills so let's take a look at Makina's skills for this episode plate. So focusing on charm and a bit of voice. All right, four divas equipable with the episode plate. Center skill, total up. So immediately units total is increased by 20% up. Not the best center skill, but you know, let's take a look at the rest of the skills. All right, active skill for 20, for 20 seconds you will have an easier time tapping notes so 20 seconds is a pretty long duration as compared to the others we've seen um, that probably had 15 seconds or 14 seconds something like that so 20 seconds is pretty awesome although it is not an active skill to do high score um, but you know it is a useful skill um, to practice those extreme songs live skill at the 30 second mark so so not not at the 30 second mark every 30 seconds since it is score and repeat so it will activate after every 30 seconds 
for 7 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% up. So immediately, the life skill and the active skill is way better than that Macross 7 episode play. So it has really triumphant over it. And this is now officially the best episode plate you can get from a paid gacha of course the stats lose out to those that you can get from the red boss events but the skills alone are definitely way better than those from the red boss events because red boss events episode plates are kind of restrictive in a sense that you only can use them um, or rather the act the live skill can only be activated if it's for a particular song so instantly this is now the current best episode plate out there for um, Utama Cross. <laughs> Alright, so then the other thing that comes to mind is wow, this episode plate comes with a high score note. Um, so, whenever you see this note appear, it will boost your score. So, fantastic stuff if you're thinking about breaking your previous old high scores. An episode plate with fantastic stats plus that special note. This plate is an absolute must. If you are a high score achiever and if you're a hardcore player. So guys, with that said, I think I might end up tossing all my singing stones into this. Probably 1005. Because I still need um 300 stones for my debut gacha. So maybe when I've saved up enough um to do another pool for Makina, I'll probably do that. But in the end, I still need singing stones for Freya's because I can kind of expect Freya's episode plate to be almost of this quality as well and Freya's episode plate will definitely be a center position episode plate since Makina's is more of a support plate we can expect Freya's episode plate to be a center position one with a good um, active skill to boost high score so right uh, Freya fans if you are Wait, waiting just for episode plates for your your, your favorite diva i hi highly recommend you to stay off makina's episode plate unless you're a hardcore player which you're definitely going to need to invest your singing stones into getting makina's episode plate itself because freya's episode plate might be slightly lower in quality compared to makina's we've seen that happen before um, where the first episode plate uh, of the current gacha usually tends to be a way better one compared to the second one that appears uh, because the second one is just mostly feeding off um, favoritism of a particular diva so we know that Freya is more popular than Makina um, but Makina has her fans too so <laughs> Makina fans please go ahead and try and get this plate um, this is definitely a must-have episode plate for all Makina fans and hardcore players alike so let's do the debut gacha first because I know my luck has been terrible for the last few gachas, although it, the last few gachas are free but you know the I don't get a uh, high quantity amount of 5 star episode plates, usually it's just 1 or 0 so I know my luck isn't exactly at the best of its condition right now so I'm gonna waste away my bad luck on the debut gacha, hopefully my good luck doesn't come onto this gacha, <laughs> I really want that Makina episode plate so let's do this, we're gonna do the 300 singing stone pool for the debut gacha, um, yeah it's, it's guaranteed for a 5 star episode plate as you can see here so it's one of the few that is present within this gacha and the episode plates that are currently in the debut gacha are no longer actually um, worth your while wow, kind of so if you kind of want to save your singing stones and avoid all these um, older episode plates um, which I will highly recommend you to do so but for me personally I think um, having the secret bots unlock for these old episode plates are kind of nice uh, at the same time plus you, you can always gain extra points to get you those um, large episode ops that you need for unlocking costumes and all that kind of stuff so do take that in mind alright so we do get 5 Valkyries off the bat um, it is a guarantee wow we get 2 rainbow boxes 3 rainbow boxes oh no does that mean my luck with Makina is going to <laughs> go down the drain okay here we go the first rainbow box okay so not the best episode plate there is this is actually one of the worst um five star episode plates you can actually obtain um although it's makina and reina so yeah okay so we do get one for milane um which is pretty awesome um this is one of her decent 
episode plates, so that's not too bad. Considering that it is meant to be used for its uh, high score purposes, so that's that's fine. Um, let's take a look at what the third rainbow box is. Oh, Mikumo! So we get two awesome episode plates, even though they are older ones, but the two of them are actually meant for high score purposes. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and both of them are fully evolved under my case, so fantastic stuff. No evolution on the red box, that's kind of sad, but that's fine. It's always good to have secret bots unlocked. So no new episode plates, but Milane's plate goes into plus one. Uh, Mikumo goes into plus two. Then of course, Makina Reina goes into plus one. So not too bad. At least we are getting some um, six star plates with luck um, present. It's going to help with high score purposes, especially Mikumo and Mak and uh, Milane. Um, these two are actually high score purpose plates. You know, if you want to take a look at the skills, here we go. So they do come with the 10 seconds um, boosting high 100% up in score. And of course, Milane is equivalently the same, but because these are older plates, the total score tends to be a bit low. So yeah, that's why I would say I would recommend you guys to save your 300 singing stones if you don't wish to obtain these plates. But like I said, uh, otherwise, um, the points, the costume points for those plates uh, will rack up, you know, unlocking your episode ops for your future costumes or Valkyries that you wish to unlock when your luck is down. All you do is just gain one of the episode plates to get your costumes available for unlocking through episode ops. It's always a good thing. Alright, so let's do Makina's gacha right now. I have a very bad feeling that I won't do very well because my luck seems to have gone into the debut gacha. Oh boy, I'm so nervous. Okay, so I'm gonna do three pulls of 10 plates here. Um, hopefully I do get one copy of Makina's episode plate. I'm just hoping for just one copy uh, and then I can use the rarity up star and power it up. Um, so here we go guys, the first out of three template pools. Very very nervous. <laughs> uh, where has my luck gone to? Honestly, I can't really tell whether I'm lucky anymore or not. Uh, or rather when my luck streak is uh, anymore because it's really messed up by Dana's uh, algorithm. So here we go, very very nervous. Ooh, one plane, two planes, three. No 4 5. Okay, so we might go into red box territories. Um, yeah, most probably. But we do get three boxes, so hopefully there is an evolution. I don't know. Alright, let's. Okay, okay. No evolution, so that's pretty much my reaction right now. My face is exactly like Ozma. <laughs> I think this episode play is starting to go into the plus 10 category as well, so that's not too bad. Um, I, I would like to have more episode plates that's going beyond the plus 13 luck factor. So here we go, the rest of the red boxes were definitely not evolved because the first one didn't, so that's kind of a bummer. Alright, so this entire gacha pool is of a 4-star four, uh, four episode plate rarity. Oh, this is new! I have not seen this episode plate before, so hopefully this... Okay, it is not a uh, episode plate with Makina's costume, but we do get one. I guess the one with the dancing Freya is the one that's belonging to Makina's costume. So that's not too bad. Let's just do a double check. Is this belonging to Makina's costume? Yes, it is. So which costume does this belong to? Oh, okay. So the luck of this one is quite terrible. So we're going to exit out, refresh the luck, go back in. I'm gonna do two more episode plate pools. I mean, template episode plate pools. You know what I mean, anyway, guys. Let's do this second round. Very, very nervous still, because that's a lot of money going down the drain. <laughs> uh, uh, very, 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 very nervous. Oh boy. Alright, we get a bit of loading right there. Let's do this. One plane. That's all we're gonna get. Oh no. Okay, we get two red boxes. There's a second bling. We got four. So I hope I hope that one of them at least evolves and then grants me the new plate and not an old one. No evolution there. Okay, this is entirely a rare rare box uh gacha pool. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm just gonna sit through this. 
Oh, this is a nice plate. Okay, I'm not I'm not complaining. The artwork is pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, Reina staring off. Don't give me that look. I want Makina. Come on, Reina. Don't hawk don't hawk Makina off for yourself. <laughs> Alright, so let's do the rest. Okay, hopefully the last template pool will gun me something decent. Alright, so Oh, there are two new plates. Okay, but for which costumes? Alright, let's check them out. Who do you belong to? Oh, it's a different Makina, okay. Okay, so we do get more points for the new, new costume for Makina. I'm gonna reset the luck once again. Hopefully the last one will grant me something. Hopefully. Alright, here we go guys. Um, I don't know, my, my hope level is kind of diminished already. Uh, I'm just, just going to go with whatever there is. Maybe not hoping for anything will bring me luck, I don't know. Ah. Alright, let's do the last pool. One, two, three. No, four, five. Okay, there is still some chance there, I suppose. One red box on the first blink. Woo! Woo! We get a rainbow box! Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. It might be, may not be. It could be an old episode play. That's usually how Dana trolls us, you know. They give us hope and take it all away by flushing down a terrible episode plate in our trolls. <laughs> Alright, so let's toss away all these common ones and just go straight to the rainbow box. Where are you? Leaving the best for the last, I suppose. Here we go, guys. Yes! I got it! Oh my god, I'm so happy! <laughs> oh, Maki Maki! Okay, although she's not my topmost favorite diva, I mean, I. Oh, I mean, compared to Valkyrie as, as a whole, Makina is definitely my third favorite. Um, you know. Uh, no, not third favorite. Second favorite. Second favorite out of Valkyrie, but in terms of all my cross divas, Makina is definitely my third favorite. First being Ranka. Everyone should know this by now. Second is actually Reina. Then of course followed by Makina. Uh, yeah. So very happy. Okay, guys. I guess I will do this in front of you all. I'm going to power up Makina's episode plate. Um, with the Rarity Up Star. Do take note, if you guys have been paying for the Utamaku Pass, the Rarity Up Star does have an expiration date. So if you guys don't use it by then, the money that you've invested for a Rarity Up Star is going down the drain. So guys, take note of that. Very, very important stuff to pay attention to. All right, so if you tap onto the Rarity Up Star, you take note, there is this pink color expiration date here, so you have to use it by then. So, guys, this kind of thing you need to pay close attention to um, because money is involved. You don't really want to end up wasting away all the, mon the money that you have invested in the past three months to actually obtain one copy of a Rarity Up Star. And usually the expiration date um, is up to the point of the three months that you will get the next rarity up star so um, before you get the next one make sure you use it uh, and, and of course make sure you use it on an episode plate that is actually worth using it like the current one i have right now we know for sure that this is makina's best episode plate as a life uh, as a life skill support plate uh, in terms of high score purposes and at the same time it is the best episode play out there right now with stats um i mean not looking at makina's image and all that but yeah <laughs> anyway guys let's unlock makina's costume right now um if you guys want to actually see the um the animation for the music video um with makina dancing and um dancing in the moonlight 
um, with this costume, it will be on the Macross FaceTime uh, Facebook group. The link is in the description down below. I can't upload it to my YouTube channel because of music copyright purposes. So yeah guys, if you really really want to see it, make sure you tune in, join the group, join the community where all the, the culture is going on. Um, yeah, so let's do this. We're gonna unlock everything right here. Before I mention one other thing um, in this video to wrap things up because it is the brand new month and brand new month usually comes with a lot of stuff you need to purchase with well in-game money and not actual cash um <laughs> so yeah okay it seems like we don't really have um you know enough points for makina's costume um we could get more from the actual event um because makina's costume is unlockable for free if you work hard enough during the event itself by getting those free episode plates but you know by powering up this episode plate with the rarity up star i will have enough points for makina's costume right now so do take note on how you actually want to obtain makina's costume do you want to do it the free way um, where you actually need to work more harder during the event and of course, if you want to do it the paid way, then you have to toss in, you know, money by purchasing your singing stones. And of course, um, hopefully you have the luck to, to obtain the episode plates that are brand new to the gacha itself. Uh, and of, of course, obtain those episode um, plates that have points for Makina's costume. Whew, okay, so we're going to power up the plate fully. I should probably have done this on my own time and just unlock it with the Rarity Up Star. So here we go guys, enough of the delay, we're going to evolve Makina's episode plate um, fully to its 6 star evolution form. Here we go, fantastic. So I'm just using my Rarity Up Star, we do get the notification here that we have enough points to unlock Makina's costume. So that's what we're going to do right now, of course. We get posters for the decor room as well. There we go. So, Rarity Up Star, useful as it is, but expensive as heck. <laughs> Alright, so let's unlock Makina's costume. I'm gonna prepare some tissues because my nose is going to bleed from all the kawawanas that Makina has to offer. Whew. Oh boy! <laughs> okay, uh, that was really really hard to watch. <laughs> um, Alright, so there we go, we've unlocked Makina's costume. I'm gonna power up the plates on my own time, but before we close up this session for the Gacha Pool, let's talk about what's brand new within Chaos Exchange. Um, because, well, there are certain things that you need to take note of and it might cost you to spend real life money might <laughs> all right so as you can see the brand new zodiac medal is up and of course um the episode plates that are exchangeable within this month itself we have mirage and who okay so we do get a new plate for mirage and the stolen sv262 ba that is from the Macross Delta movie. Interestingly enough. Okay, so we do get more episode plates with the points that features Mikumo and uh, more Mirage Love. So the returning plates are uh, Milane's. Okay, so we, if you've not unlocked Milane's, Valkyrie, and Mirage's um, S SV262 BA, um, yeah. These this this month is the chance to unlock those Valkyries if you have not done so just yet. So I will do another video at the close to the end of the month to compare the two of them to see which episode plates are actually better. For the meantime, um, let's leave them be because we won't have enough Zodiac models to actually exchange for them yet. Um, so let's talk about what you actually need to pay attention to in Chaos Exchange. Um, uh, the fact that um, well these things that we're going to talk about let's talk about the one that you can get for free because you use in-game currency so as always please purchase all the items that you can use for powering up your divas uh, 
affection levels make sure you purchase them they always reset at the start of the month so make sure you do that i have not done so that's why everything is in pink all right and then of course we are going to take a look at the other thing which is um a paid item because you need to actually purchase your singing stones to obtain these seasonal spheres so we're going to tap into it if you have not paid attention before um the seasonal spheres come with a decor set so this time around it is for the uh, nyan nyan restaurant from min may's time you can get decor items which is going to help you as well because for each of these items they're going to count into your decor count which you will need to uh, obtain to power up those trophies that give you like the uh, zodiac medals um the macross cannon percentage charge um then of course your uh, episode plates materials and all that stuff so if you guys are actually able to purchase singing stones you might want to use your seasonal spheres to actually exchange for these decor items because these are exclusive to these seasonal spheres only so yeah i already done my part i already paid for it and i was exchanged for it so i definitely do have those then of course there is this as well um wait oh, wrong page okay <laughs> um do take note the red boss event chaos exchange page the, the every every week or so they will release a new decor item for your decor room um previously we only started off with icon now as you can see they have this um ore no utawo kike so this belongs to cheryl then this one is the koi flex that's for the matsuri and all that stuff so yeah every week they release one so pay close attention to it 600 uh, red boss medals is a hefty amount if you did not rank well um yeah definitely you won't have enough to exchange for those decor items which is pretty crucial if you want to power up those trophies of yours at the same time you need 6000 uh, medals to exchange for those episode plates that are exclusive to the red boss chaos exchange and of course you have to pay attention to those that are expiring soon which is the micross frontier one as you can see we are on the last set um which is going to expire on the 35th uh, 31st of um may so yeah you have to exchange the macross frontier one before they disappear for good then of course followed up by the macross 7 one my guess the next one might be either delta or sdf macross uh, depending on how they want to rotate the uh, generations around so yeah guys so that's it that's pretty much it for this month um and of course this gacha video i know it's a pretty long one it's about half an hour but that's all the necessary information that i should share and need to share with you guys as always if you found all the information useful please let me know by hitting the like button to this video comment down below what you guys think as always if i can i will reply to you guys if not um yeah, I'll definitely read all your comments. I do I do read all your comments. <laughs> uh, just that sometimes I, I don't know how to reply to you guys. Or, um, you know, if I can reply, I will reply. <laughs> of course, uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel uh, by clicking the button down below. Uh, it's very close to the dislike button. Please don't hit the dislike button. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross Gacha video. Until then, bye!